What's going on, ladies and germs? Today, we're going to keep playing Shadow Pixel Dungeon. In the previous video, I provided a tutorial on uh, how to be the king of dwarves. Now, I did say in that video that I was going to be showing you how to defeat Yogg. However, since very few adventures have actually made it to Demon Halls, which is what the last few levels are called, I think I'll also provide a, not really step-by-step, because -step, I feel like I'm going to die. But who knows? Maybe I'll make it. Who knows? Anyway. So, basically a tutorial on all the monsters in these deeper levels, and the rare monsters that have a small chance of spawning, but still can. Okay, so first order of business, obviously these giant piranhas are still, I'm not going to use this weapon, but I'm taking it to sell for money. But, uh, those piranhas are really, really strong. No matter how strong your armor is, they're, basically the level of the piranhas will be based on upon the depth you're in. So the deeper you are in the dungeon, the stronger they will be. So they they have about 250 health, I believe. But anyway, so you got a scubus here, which is supposed to be basically a seductive, demonic female. Now, when they use their magic, they can charm a hero, which will be basically means you'll be unable to attack. And while you're charmed, if they hate you, they'll steal your life essence. Basically, meaning simply put, they will heal upon hitting you while you are charmed. Important to keep that in mind. So we're gonna zap her. All right. Now they're pretty strong. If as long as you have semi good armor, you should be fine. Now while fighting them, if you do get charmed, you do want to like step back a bit. A bit. The charm itself only lasts about three to four turns, so you'll you'll be fine. Just don't get in a corner and let them hit you. And if you're in a corner, try to drink a potion of invisibility, or use an artifact to just get out of there because you do not want to be in there. Alright, these are evil eyes. Now, evil eyes, they're pretty strong. Now, since I am the assassin class, I do have a special... Since I can cloak, I can just easily dodge their death gaze attack. However, not every single class has that ability. You have a ring of accuracy, that's why I attacked. But don't do that. If you don't have a ring of accuracy, do not do that. <laughs> anyway, so... When you're playing as the other classes... Basically, you're going to want to really be aware of your environment. So if you're fighting an uh, evil eye, you want to be next to a door. So if there's an evil eye like on this tile right here in front of me, I'll hit him, go back. He'll shoot the door and break the door. Then I'll go back. And even though he'll hit me first, it's a lot better. So he doesn't get the advantage of the basically the positioning advantage. Another special thing about the rogue, they do have... Uh, when you do the search, it's a pretty big radius. So that's actually pretty good. Saves me a lot of time. There's also a scorpion, which we'll, we, we'll find in the deeper levels. And they are really, they're really a pain to take on. They're a big pain, I'll tell you. Alright. So before going on here, we are going to apply the scroll of upgrade onto our weapon. Because we do need that to be a little bit stronger. Alright, 9 to 45, that's not bad. Now there's two enemies in here. I really don't want to set off any traps, so I'm going to search. Okay, it's clean in here. I'm hoping he gets one shot. Yeah, I one shot at him. I mean, it did 100 damage. You got to keep that in mind. So. Sorry about that. All right. Now, are these enemies strong? Yes, you're going to want some pretty good armor. I mean, my armor's plate armor level 6, and I'm still taking quite a beating. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Just on a blank intuition. At this point in the late game, intuitions are lit, like straight up 100% useless. Like At this point in the game, you should have identified most, if not every item in the game. And the only use you really have for them, and I still keep them because of it, but... Whoops. But the only reason why I keep them is because you can't use intuitions to set off traps. Alright, now mimics. Now, don't think mimics are weak now, because you are in the end game. At this point, okay, this isn't good. Yeah, I forgot to mention, the, the death case attack from the evil eye can also hit other enemies. Pretty useful to know. I'm going to cloak because this is not looking good. Drink a pot of healing. Alright. It does get pretty ridiculous after a while. We got a ring of wealth. Not going to be too useful though. I already explored these rooms. What am I doing? Oh yeah, the traps also tend to uh, become a lot more difficult 
as you go throughout the dungeon. You want to remember that. Now, that ring of accuracy is paying off like crazy. But, yeah. So now the scorpions, I'm not going to explain it too much until I actually run into them. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm just being thorough, checking everywhere. Hmm. Right, let's see what hidden loot's actually on the level that's actually useful. A stone of enchantment. I'm actually going to want that. I'm actually going to want that. Oh, that's about it. That's the only thing worth taking on the level. All right. So I got a feeling. All right. We got to first of all worry about the skewbus here. Can be a problem. Yeah, 15 damage. That's ridiculous. Jeez. There we go. All right. Now, where is the hidden room? Or how am I going to get in here, basically? Yeah, food is going to be a problem as well. Usually, I'm doing good on food. Unfortunately, I don't have... That a loser? Nope, nothing. Also forgot to mention, the Skubas can teleport. Now, they will not teleport if you get behind a door. They, will teleport. they might teleport into the door, but they won't teleport behind you. And hit you in the door. Now it's important to mention. That was a mistake on my part. Whoops. But um. The skewbus if they teleport to you. They will get an additional turn on you. And get to hit you. Really important to keep that in mind. Because that could actually like kill you. So you need to seriously be aware of that. Skewbus can be a real pain. There we go. I am low on health. I'm trying to find this room, though. I might just read a scroll of magic mapping. I don't want to do it. It's a complete... Yeah, I can't even get in there. Unless you have, like, a special artifact to get you in there. There's no way you can... Ugh, jeez. Well, I guess we're going to have to go deeper in the dungeon. That was a complete waste of a scroll as well. Now, I believe the scorpions will be on floor 24 to 25. I haven't really done more, more a lot of research on what floors they'll spawn on. But I guess we'll find out. Now, I'm going to take a pot of healing, and I cannot see in there. So, I'm going to activate my first torch and get that going. Oh, yeah. Nothing here. This room's straight up empty. There's, like, nothing in there. No point, but whatever. Nothing here as well. Oh, we got a torch. All right. Levitation. Not too useful, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, I'm not going to use my cloak to basically show you how it goes. Now, when the evil eye starts charging up his attack, you have a solid <clears throat> turn. You have a full turn to do something about it before he actually shoots. All right, here's our first scorpion. So, I guess they do show up on level 23. So, 23 through 24, you'll find these scorpions. Now, these scorpions are... God, they're a pain in the butt. They're pretty strong. Now, when you fight them, they'll, if you're, a t like, right in front of them, like, right around here, right where I'm at right now, you hit them, they're gonna run, and they're gonna bolt. They're pretty much like the, uh, the Null Trickster, when you do the Sad Ghost quest, that's one of the quests you can get. Now, one of the weaknesses of the, uh, Scorpion is, if you do get behind a door, like, and that Scorpion happens to be in a room that's, like, closed off, he'll forget that he saw you and go through that door again. So, I do not want to wake up that evil eye. I really don't. But that's how it's done. Get that door closed. Oh, there's another one. Great. Alright, we're gonna do that. Alright, but um... Oh yeah, he saw me. Okay. So now if I go towards him, he's just gonna run. And let me tell you, it gets really annoying. However, like I said, they're in this, like let's say this door right here was not here. It was just that one door. If I were to get one in here, he'll keep coming out to the door. I can just surprise attack him. So, hmm. I'll read this and see what I get. Just out of curiosity, because I heard these get you uh, basic items that you cannot get otherwise. Ring of haste. I prefer ring of evasion and ring of accuracy. Those are the rings I like. Here's a scubus. See, they teleport to you. I about to say, I don't want to be charmed because I don't know what's in this room. It could be a straight-up death trap. Come on, ring of accuracy. Come on. I'm just, yeah, forget. I'm just zapping you. I'm not going to deal with that crap. Visibility and unidentified. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is the potion of experience. No, it's 
Purification, okay. That works too. Evil eye over there. Alright, I'm gonna talk over here. Oh, there's a Scorpion. I wasn't... Damn it, I wasn't ready for that. Shit. Okay. I think invisibility and cloak. Oh, there's another Scorpion. Wow, they're everywhere around here. Oh my, and the evil, another evil eye? Jeez. My god. That'll kill him. Yeah, he's coming back. Oh, yeah, he sees me. There's the laser. Oh, there's two of them. I'm gonna make them try to make them hate each other. Oh, no, they did it. So I'll be fine, more or less. I'm gonna have to cloak, though, because at the angle I am at, I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah, I know I'm safe if I stay here. Boom. Use dodge the laser. So while in the demon hall is fighting those evil eyes, those death gaze, they can be really fatal. You need to keep that in mind. Yeah, I have to cloak. Otherwise, I will take a shot. All right, there we go. That's why the rogue at this end game point is so useful. So useful. You also want to search where you suspect there might be a trap. Because, like I said, you don't know what you're going to find. Right, here's a potion of experience. I guess I already identified it. Oh, well. I don't want to use my seeds. I actually do want to... Um, say, um, the earth is going to be useful against the uh, Yogg. Which, if you don't know, Yogg Zua is the boss. The final boss. Now, Yogg Zua himself... Isn't really the boss. It's more like his the two guardians, the burning fist and the rotting fist. Those are the baddies you're fighting. Oh, iron cloaked. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, if the scorpion hits you, you get crippled, and uh, if you keep charging at the scorpion while crippled, he's gonna have an extra turn on you. So just keep that. I'm gonna drink a potion of haste, so I he's gonna hit me a little bit, but I am gonna be able to. I'll be much faster than him, so I'll just be able to... Basically him, there's nothing he could do about it. Alright. Now, some would argue that you should just rush through demon halls. You really shouldn't clear out the rooms. I have to disagree with that. I feel like if you have the proper equipment and strong weapons and armor, you'll be fine. You just gotta be really careful on how you proceed. And if you see that you're dying, back out. And then try to heal up if you can't. Then keep fighting and just play as smart as possible. And remember, do not panic. You have all the time in the world to make your turn. You just got to be calm, be patient, and plan out your next move. Because at this point, you should have a lot, an awful lot of items in-game. Alright, there we go. The door's going to be my barricade. See, it's not that difficult. You will take damage over time, so you do gotta remember that. And there is a scorpion over here, so I'm gonna get in the lower corner over here. Oh, crap, I can't. Okay. I'm charmed, so I do have to back out. There's a scorpion. Hmm. I don't have any stones of blink. So I am gonna have to cloak. I don't wanna use my cloak, but I don't have a choice at this point. Oh, yeah, you messed up in that placement, buddy. All right, there you go. He's down. So now there's also a rare kind of scorpion that could spawn. I forgot the name of it, but it's a green scorpion known as the Venomous Scorpion. Now, it actually killed me, and I'm going to explain how. And I think it has, like, a unique mechanic that you'll want to be aware of. That trap is scary. It teleports basically your weapon anywhere in the level. You do not want that to happen to you. It'll suck bad. Okay, so, yeah, I was in case that does happen, I have a great axe on me, which isn't going to be as strong, but it's going to get the job done, okay? Now, if I have a scroll, of, if I get another scroll of upgrade on this level, I'm going to see if I could, if the great axe will be stronger. Hmm. Anyway, so, um, I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, yeah, the Venomous Scorpion. Now, obviously, like the name suggests... He's going to have like a poison effect, and it's going to be pretty strong if he does hit you with it. Now, I only ran into this thing once, so it's a pretty rare spawn. But if it does spawn, be careful while fighting it. Because I killed it, 
But upon killing it, I somehow died. Now, I don't know how that happened. I, I just simply, I should have just died. I have no idea how. No idea. But, um, that's what happened. And it was fatal. I'm telling you right now. I don't understand how I died. I just simply did. So, I'm guessing he has some sort of explosion or something like that after he dies. Which you're going to want to be aware of. The Scubus Awoken. Oh, there she is. I'm charmed. going to have to back out a bit. Hello. That's not good. We'll do that. Oh, this is the perfect angle. And I accidentally use an extra turn. I'm going to drink a pot of fuel. I'm running low on pots here. Oh, I guess he left. Okay. Works for me. Pot of haste. I believe the next floor will be Yog. How many turns do I have on invisibility? I have six, so five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Nope, you're gonna die. Don't even bother. Alright, the torch right now. Look how dark it is. Imagine if I was playing the game at night. Oh my god, I'll be terrible. Now we're in a garden. This is actually exactly what I need. And another earth root seed. Those always help. I can't see in here, so I'm going to back out. Lay a torch. Go back. Oh, yeah. There's a scorpion. We got a potion of strength. So drinking this will make me 20. So I'll finally be able to wield the great axe. Oh yeah, I'm going to want to really be careful. Oh, there's a scroll of upgrade. Perfect. I want to see if a level 1 Great Axe will be stronger than the Battle Axe. Oh wait, no, it's not accurate though. I'm going to stick with the Battle Axe. Yeah, the Great Axe is going to be strong, but it's not accurate. The accuracy is what I really need in these fights. Alright, that's a disintegration trap. If I do throw something at it, it's going to activate. I'm going to use the Ring of Haste because I'm not going to use that. So there you go. It's dead now. You can use these deadly traps to your advantage. So both items are level 6 now. 10 to 50. That's really good. This is endgame stuff. I can definitely... Put, I could potentially win the game. I just got to play my cards right now. And not be stupid. But for now, it's all about clearing the level. Yeah, that's about it. I cleared the whole level. So now finally, after 20 minutes in the video, it does take a, lot, a long time because each enemy you face face in this, in the demon halls, is really, really strong. So you'll want to be careful. Yep, there you have it. Oh, there's a scorpion as well. I can't... Uh, wait a turn. Kill the evil eye. All right. I'm going to eat a ration because I need to start naturally regenerating before I get to the floor. Yep, there he is. All right, I'm just going to cloak. Oh, there's two of them. I need to actually... Yeah, there's a lot of enemies. I should probably clear them out though before fighting the boss. Uh, I need my cloak to be fully charged, but it's not... I'm just going to have to deal with it, I guess. I do have a few charges. A few potions of healing. The Earthroot Seed. That's what's really going to help me, though. So, let's get started. Alright, we're at floor 20. Wait, before I go... Before I start the fight, though. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I entered the floor. There's no going back. Oh, jeez. We're about to start. Well... Camouflage isn't going to help me. Let's see if we can get anything else. Affection. That's actually going to help. Okay. So let's get started. Intuition. Disarming. Nothing is really going to help. 
I don't have any mind vision, which would have been so useful. I'll drink a potion of haste. I'll do that. And then how many turns I have my... Okay, I have 100, so I'll be good. So I need to find out where the where the fists are at. They're not here. The burning fist is over here. The rotting fist is right there. Okay. I'm actually in a bad environment to start this fight. I was hoping the rotting fist will be up front and the burning fist will be in the back so I can get behind the rotting fist with my cloak and then go attack the burning fist. The burning fist does the, a lot more damage than the rotting fist. However, the rotting fist does a melee attack and the burning fist does a magic attack. Now, the Burning Fist's magic attack, he'll even shoot his magic attack at you, even if you're directly in front of him. And it does a lot of damage. So that's where the Ring of Evasion or Ring of Elements comes in handy. However, we don't have those. Yeah, 27. You want to really be careful. This does some damage. Now, since the Burning Fist is obviously a fire element. Yeah, that Potion of Haste helps so much. You're going to want me in water. Now, Yogzu himself is just kind of chilling there. He doesn't do anything until you hit him, which I'll get into later. Hmm. I'm trying to plan my next move here. I'm going to plant the seed of earth through. <sighs> Never mind. I was going to go up a tile, but the burning fist would. Okay. We'll do that. All right. We're in the earth route now. The burning fist is what needs to go. We're going to drink a potion of healing. Because I don't want to get too low. Now you want to fight these guys while on wa the water. Which by the way this lava. the cold It's called cold lava. It's not actually lava. Don't worry. It's not going to kill you. When I first got in the demon halls. I thought it was actually bad. <laughs> wow my uh, herbal armor is already almost giving out. 30. Yeah. It's going to give out like another turn. There it goes. Luckily there goes the burning fist. And he's the one that does most of the damage. Okay, here. We want to stay in the water, though. Seed of Earth is really going through for us. And we only take one potion of healing, and look at that. There goes the Burning Fist. All right. Now, for Yogg himself, he doesn't do anything until you actually hit him with a melee attack. Wow, that is actually strong against him. She does damage. So I'm just going to cloak up and build up my momentum for my attack. Every time you hit him with a melee attack, he spawns a larvae. Now these larvae really don't do much damage. However, if you let them pile up, they can be they can do some considerable damage. So Yogg is dead. Wasn't too difficult. Now, most players know this, however, not everyone does, because not everyone gets to beat the game, because most people are stuck on levels 1 through 10, and I understand, it's frustrating. But once you learn how to play, you end up getting the Amulet of Yender every single time. So now, what we have to do, we got the Amulet of Yender, we can't end the game here. However, if you just end the game, that's it, it'll be over. However, this little Easter egg, which some players know about, others don't, that, uh, basically... If you manage to um, go back to level 1, you can actually leave the dungeon. Because usually it doesn't let you leave when you try to leave. It says you cannot leave yet. And so, yeah. Now, the reason why it's so crowded with enemies all of a sudden is because once you're holding the Amulet of Yender and you do explore, it's not going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be really hard. You actually could die because of it. I'm just going to kill you real quick. But the reason being... Is because once you enter a floor, basically the amulet of Yander holding it is like basically a permanent scroll of rage on you. Simply put, it's a permanent scroll of rage that's basically causing enemies to follow you and attack you. Now, it's not permanently activated. Like, as soon as you enter the floor, it's pretty much like reading a scroll of rage every time you enter a floor, basically. So, the second I ascend to a new floor, Every enemy in the location knows where I'm at, and they come charging. So, once you start moving around, they don't stick around. But yeah, see, that's how he knows where I'm at, because... So, we're just going to cloak. There you go. Eat our last ration here. 
It looks like the imp shop is gone. Unfortunately, it is what it is. No idea how it disappeared. I, get, I think I used a smoke bomb in the last video. I'm pretty sure I caused him to leave. But he wasn't my field of view. But whatever. Or at least, I don't think so. Here's where we killed the king of doors in that last video. That's a tutorial video. Alright. Here's some garbage armor I can sell for a little bit of money. At this point, your armor should be strong enough so these guys are not much of an issue. Few hits, he's down. There you go. Damn, it's so satisfying killing these guys like that. I cannot tell you how many times these guys caused me some trouble. And in case you haven't noticed, while going up, you can clearly see the arrow no longer pointing at the the level to make you go deeper into the dungeon. It's pointing to basically the surface, trying to help you leave, which is really interesting. Here's an alchemy room. I do want to. Fruit is uh this fruit I have to get some extra food. So that's what we're gonna do. The emulated render can be used as a potion ingredient. I have no idea what it gives you though. I have no idea what happens if you eat the dream fruit. I'm gonna tell I'm starving to eat it. Cause it does fully sedate you. Here's the golem. You guys be a huge threat. Now they do little to not much damage. The monks are annoying. Oh yeah, we got a, a warlock. We'll just scurry around. I don't want to outbrew his magic attacks. I don't want to bother. So now, after you make it out of the door from Metropolis, it really shouldn't be that difficult. You should be fine. Oh, yeah, I gave us a uh, potion of purification. And it's about as a little, a tiny bit shorter than a. Uh, a regular potion of purification. I'm pretty sure regular ones either 30 or 20 turns. Yeah, we're gonna have to cloak. We'll do that. All right. There we go. If we can level up one time on this journey while fighting these guys. Oh yeah, that. that oh yeah, that was powerful. Okay. We'll sell the cross. Okay. Before we do anything else, I'll take unequip the ring of accuracy. Put on the thief thingy. Sell that. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. Unequip. Put the ring on. And you know we already beat the game. I'll bless this anyway. Because why not? Oh no, I have my ring of accuracy on. I gotta. Hmm. I don't need anything. I'm just gonna. Thief, thief, he caught us. Yep. He's gone. Luckily, it doesn't matter though, because we're leaving. coming home oh man now from this point forward it really shouldn't be that big of an issue if i just stay in here i guarantee you something's gonna walk in yep wow we managed to hit the raft and i thought they were like impossible to hit all right the reason why I'm still recording, though, even though I'm pretty much done with the game, because it, it's really satisfying to go through these levels where there's weak enemies and just still practically one-hit them. It's so nice. I cannot begin to tell you how nice it is. Because each and every one of these enemies caused me a lot of headache at one point or another. When I just got straight up unlucky and they would swarm me. You know, I had cloth armor, I would die. Or something basically beyond my control. So it is really satisfying to do that. I can't tell you how nice it is. This girl's unidentified. What the heck? That... <laughs> That's funny. Wow, we one-shot him, even though we have the weakened effect. That's insane. <laughs> now, that was a scroll retribution. Now, they're only useful for, like, a final stand. Like, if you use every single option in the book and you're out of options, you don't know what to use, these enemies are going to kill you, a scroll of retribution is, like, your final stand. That's why I want to call it the scroll final stand. You use that as, your, like, your absolute last resort. Like, you have a sliver of health. It's so small you can't even see it. You're out of options, out of time, out of areas to run away. Scroll retribution is, like, your final stand. You read that, 
it will kill most enemies depending on how weak you are. The weaker you are, the stronger the scroll will be. However, at a cost, it leaves you weak and exhausted and blinded. I want to see the Rat King, though, before going. <laughs> nope, where's he at? No clue. He probably left. Who, oh, well, who cares? Now we're in the sewers. Now, it's pretty funny to patrol the sewers. And that, I mean, come on. You can't beat that. They got some leather armor. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, my favorite class, personally, is the the uh, the mage. Oh, my God. That's so nice. One-shotting sewer crabs. They're an absolute pain in the butt. But anyway, so, um, you want more, buddy? You want some? Jeez. The Well of Health is on level 3. I believe we're on level 3. Yep, here it is. Well of Health. We'll drink that to sedate our hunger. So we can leave the dungeon without even being hungry. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. And since I'm such a high level, these guys are going to do absolutely no damage. I'm only level... Yeah, I'm level 27. If I level up one more time... I might get any XP from killing these guys, so I'm not going to bother. We're on floor two. All right. There we go. We're going to leave Pixel Dungeon. The dungeon was good to us. We got the Amulet of Yender. We leave as a hero.